very good morning students uh, this is your english teacher bedu sarawat and i welcome you all to rkp online classes so uh, we are uh, going to continue with the same topic that is conjunctions and so far we have uh, learned about coordinating conjunctions so beta uh, i hope the things are still intact in your mind and you remember everything about the coordinating conjunctions so basically coordinating conjunctions uh, the mnemonics for coordinating uh, the mnemonic for coordinating conjunctions is fan boys right fan boys right like uh, for and nor but or yet so okay all right so this is how uh, you can remember it easily all right and we use coordinating conjunctions to join to independent or principal clauses always right so today we are uh, going to um, learn about uh, the second type of conjunctions that is subordinating conjunctions all right now beta uh, whenever i whenever i teach uh, you something i always focus on the name first and i always tell you that you know uh, the secret is uh, the secret lies in the name itself if you are able to understand the name you will understand more than half of the topic itself right i mean it will be uh, the the main idea is there in the name so always whether it is a grammar topic or it is a lesson or a poem uh, you know uh, make it a habit to uh, you know analyze the name first of all okay so let's continue with it and uh, so here the root word in this word is subordinate okay what's the root word subordinate now subordinate means beta uh, somebody uh, lower in rank okay somebody lower in rank or we can say uh, assistant assistant okay so uh, if we go by the name we understand you know uh, a, a bit about it right so basically subordinating conjunctions are uh, the words which uh, we will always find before a subordinating clause subordinate clause now i hope you remember what is a subordinate clause or dependent clause still if you you know if you have forgotten uh, a few things about that no need to worry we will just uh, refresh our memory before proceeding further right so subordinating conjunctions are uh, it uh, means you know um they always join a dependent clause dependent clause with an independent clause all right with an independent clause all right now i have written three sentences here uh, with the help of with the help of which we will try to understand what is a subordinate clause and uh, how a subordinating uh, conjunction always uh, join uh, the uh, these two clauses dependent and independent okay now see i took my umbrella okay because it was raining right i took my umbrella but a one more thing here see we never pronounce uh, b here right we do not pronounce it like umber umber b sound is vanish it is vanished from there you, you never pronounce it right whenever m and b these two letters when they are together i mean when m is followed by b 
never pronounce it beta so here also we'll just remove the sound of b from here and we'll pronounce it simply like umbrella um um umbrella umbrella great now so i took my umbrella because it was raining now if you see here beta there are two clauses here and i took my umbrella it makes complete sense right it doesn't need uh, help uh, to make uh, complete sense right so this is this is principal clause right principal or independent or main clause okay and from here because it was raining because it was raining now if you see here if we read it from here because it was raining we do not get uh, the complete sense i mean to know the whole matter we need to know something else also right and for that uh, the subordinate clause needs uh, uh, to depend upon the main clause right so because it was raining now this is the subordinate clause from because till raining and uh, remember i told you just uh, two three minutes uh, uh, ago that uh, it always a subordinate clause always starts with a subordinating conjunction okay and that is the reason and that is the reason it is called subordinate clause why because it always starts with a subordinating conjunction and where is the subordinating conjunction here yes because is the subordinating conjunction here right so uh, let's uh, uh, have a look at the second sentence my dog barked loudly when the doorbell rang all right so my dog barked loudly makes complete sense all right that means it is independent clause okay and from when till rang okay so when the bell rang again um to know the complete thing we need to read the independent clause as well and if you see here this is this is the subordinate clause here and it starts with a conjunction here that is that to uh, a subordinate conjunction okay when is the subordinate conjunction all right although the journey was tiring we enjoyed a lot okay now although the journey was tiring we enjoyed a lot now we enjoyed a lot it's an independent clause by reading only you get get the uh, get it very clearly that it is an independent clause right so this is independent clause and if you see here this is the conjunction right and uh, this clause starts with a conjunction a subordinating conjunction although the journey was tiring we enjoyed a lot now so i hope till here you have understood what is a subordinating conjunction right and uh, uh, how exactly it is used to join uh, dependent and independent clauses right and of course there are many subordinating conjunctions right many different kind of uh, many uh, different uh, uh, types of subordinating conjunctions and uh, we'll try to uh, look at uh, each one of them one by one all right so now we'll try to understand conjunctions of time now beta see these subordinating conjunctions of time they always introduce adverb clauses of time okay they always introduce adverb clauses of time okay and it uh, 
uh, usually answers us when or till when uh, something happened, the action which is being talked about in the sentence, right? So, if you have any uh, uh, confusion regarding adverb clause, you all know that we have already covered clauses and if you have any confusion, you can go back and you can watch the videos anytime in the school app, right? So, let's uh, uh, have a look at the sentences. She had died before she reached 30. Now, she had died before she reached 30. Now, of course, we know this is the independent clause and from before till 30, it is the dependent, subordinate clause. And of course, I have already told you that it always starts with a subordinating conjunction. So, before is the subordinating conjunction, right? And if you see, uh, she had died. When? When did she die? Before she reached 30. Before she, she reached 30 means uh, uh, before she uh, mm, got 30 years old basically, right? So this conjunction, you, you must have understood why do we call it conjunction of time? Because it is uh, giving us the indication of uh, when something happened, right? Now, wait here till or until I return. Now, uh, suppose my friend and I, uh, okay, we uh, both are, uh, uh, you know, having a conversation and I have uh, um, a work which will consume only uh, not uh, more than five minutes. So I request him to wait for me at the same place. Okay. And uh, I just tell him uh, that, you know, I'll go and I just do the work and I'll come back. So, but you wait here. Don't go anywhere. So for that situation, I can say, wait here till or until I return. Okay. So now see, Wait here is the independent clause and till or until I return, this is the subordinate clause and till and until are subordinating conjunctions. And again here, there's, uh, you know, it answers uh, till when, till when I should uh, wait for you, till I return, okay. Now, I will leave as soon as you come okay now i will leave again this is independent clause and as soon as is the subordinating conjunction okay introducing the subordinating clause here okay as soon as uh, you come so i will leave when when will i leave as soon as you come as soon as me the moment Right at that point of time, okay, I will uh, at the I will leave at right at that point of time when you come, okay. So as soon as means immediately. Uh, I mean when you come, exactly at the same point of time. Now he called me when I was in Delhi. Now he called me is the independent right, and when is the subordinating conjunction? Okay, S introducing the subordinate clause. So, he called me when, when I was in Delhi, right? He comes to me whenever he needs money, okay? Now, he comes to me, independent, all right? And whenever is the subordinating conjunction of time, whenever. So, when uh, does... He come to me. When does he come to me? He always comes to me whenever he needs money. Right? So this is our subordinating conjunction of time. The doctor came after the patient had died. Okay? So a very bad situation. Alright. So this is the uh, main clause. And after 
is the subordinating conjunction, right? And this is our subordinate clause. So, beta, see, like uh, before, till, until, as soon as, when, whenever, after, okay? All these conjunctions, they tell us uh, the time of the action, okay? So, they always give us the answer. If you see, if we have noticed the sentences here, it always gives us the answer when something happened, okay? The time of the action basically. And that is the reason they are always used to introduce the adverb clause of time, okay? So, I hope uh, you have understood uh, what are conjunctions of time. Next is conjunctions of cause and reason. Cause or reason in fact. Alright Vita. So these subordinating conjunctions are used to introduce adverb clauses of reason. Okay. Now uh, these adverb clauses they answer us why something happened. Okay, why? They always answer us why, right? So, uh, you have to remember this thing that these conjunction always introduce adverb clause of reason. And they always, uh, whenever uh, they, uh, they introduce the adverb clause of reason, this clause of reason, they, it always uh, answers us why something happened, okay? The reason basically, what is the reason of, uh, you know, the action took place in a particular sentence, alright? So, let's have a look at the sentences and try to understand. Everybody appreciates Sam. Because he is quite sincere. Now, see, everybody appreciates Sam is the independent clause. Now, because it is the subordinating conjunction of cause. Okay, cause. Now, everybody appreciates Sam. What, what is the reason behind that? That everybody appreciates Sam. What is the reason? Because he is quite sincere. Understood? It gave us the answer of why everybody appreciates Sam. Alright? So, he will go there since you desire it. Okay? So now, he will go there. Again, this is independent clause. And since is the subordinating conjunction of reason or cause, right? Now here, he will go there. What is the reason behind that? Because you desire it. Since you desire it. Since means because. Okay? Since means because. Since you desire it. So again, it uh, gives us the answer of why. Okay? Now, as he was not there, I spoke to his brother. Okay? So, as he was not there. So, this is the subordinating conjunction of cause or reason. Now, I spoke to his brother is the independent clause. Now, why did I, uh, why did I speak to his brother? Why did I do that? What is the reason behind that? As he was not there. Okay. So this is the reason that the person, the concerned person was not there. So that is why I spoke to his brother. So these are uh, conjunctions of cause or reason. And they always introduce adverb clause of reason. Alright. Like because since and as. I hope you have understood the conjunctions of cause or reason. 
Now, beta, I would like to discuss. about that so next is conjunction of consequence okay conjunction of consequence what is the meaning of consequence consequence uh, means result okay what is what are the consequences of this situation that means what are the results of this situation okay so now conjunction of uh, con consequence is that okay here we we'll particularly talk about that all right and uh, this conjunction that when we use that uh, as the conjunction of consequence it always uh, uh, gives us the answer of uh, right what is the result of something okay what is the result of a particular action in the sentence okay let us see how his performance was so good that he won the first prize lucky person right okay so his performance was so good that he won the first prize now this is the independent clause till good right and that is the conjunction of consequence now how try to understand it here beta his performance was so good now what is the result of this thing because his work, his performance was so good the consequence the result was that he won the first prize understood let me write uh, uh, one more sentence here mrs bhardwaj is so kind that everybody loves and respects her okay so mrs bhardwaj is so kind that everybody loves and respects her okay so now if you see till here it is independent clause now mrs bhardwaj is so kind what is the result of her being so kind yes what is the consequence of that that everybody loves and respects her okay now this is the subordinating conjunction okay so i hope you have understood how we use the conjunction of consequence that is that okay and it always uh, 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 tells us the consequence of uh, something happening in the sentence okay so i hope uh, so far you have understood it star conjunctions of purpose okay now conjunctions of purpose beta they always uh, uh, tell us and they always give the answer of whenever they of course whenever they are joined with uh, the dependent clause they give us the answer of uh, uh, like what is the purpose of uh, the action which took place in the sentence why something should be done or why something is 
done in the sentence so it always tells us about the purpose why something is or was done in the sentence okay now we eat that we may live now uh, focus here beta this is the conjunction here and remember earlier just before the conjunctions of purpose uh, we discussed conjunction of do you remember it yes conjunction of consequence there that that was used as the conjunction of consequence so here i want to tell you that that can be used uh, both uh, as a consequence as well as purpose okay so let's see here we eat okay this is the independent clause why why do we eat what is the need of eating that we may live this is the purpose of eating this is the purpose of eating right so this dependent clause it starts with the conjunction of purpose that okay now next is he worked hard so that he might pass right now he worked hard independent clause why did he work hard why did what is the purpose why did he do that what was the need so that so that is the conjunction here the subordinating conjunction so that he might pass all right so that he might pass so he doesn't want to get failed right he doesn't want to get flunked right so that is the reason he worked hard so that he might pass right so this conjunction it uh, with the help of this conjunction uh, we get to know the purpose of the uh, hard work that he did okay walk carefully lest you should fall okay now walk carefully why what is the purpose of walking carefully right lest you should fall now beta lest is the conjunction here okay lest is the conjunction and uh, it means to avoid risk of something right to avoid risk of something and what is the risk uh, uh, we are avoiding here of falling down okay so walk carefully lest you should fall remember to use should with the conjunction lest okay now next is she works hard in order that she may buy a house for her family right so here beta if you see she works hard this is the independent clause right and in order that in order that it is a compound conjunction of purpose okay because it is right here also it is uh, there are uh, more than one word in the conjunction in order that basically it means so that all right so in order that she may buy a house for her family right so she works hard what is the purpose of uh, the whole uh, the action of working hard in order that she may buy a house for her family so we will see uh, i hope you have understood how conjunctions of purpose like that so that lest in order that they uh, you know they start uh, they introduce the uh, subordinate clause and they always uh, tells us the purpose of the action uh, done in the main clause 
all right so i hope you have understood uh, the conjunction the subordinating conjunctions so far okay so uh, if you have any doubt till here do not hesitate to ask me thank you so much